Well, my name is Alfred Melbourne. I'm the founder and director of Three Sisters Gardens. We're a 501c3 a native indigenous led organization in uh, West Sacramento. Um, we serve uh, food insecure homes locally. And uh, when did you find out about uh, what happened Sunday night? Oh, um, well, I always show up at the farm early in the morning. So um, as I pulled up in the morning, um, the first thing I really noticed was on the right hand side, well, near the um, Fifth Street side, I'll say, there was a bunch of footsteps in our new flower bed um, design. And that had my attention first as I pulled in. So I would say um, just early Monday morning, noticing some footsteps in the um, side of the field. And then I didn't really notice the initial damage until I kind of got out my truck more and walked into the field. How did you feel when you saw what happened? Well, I was pretty disappointed because uh, myself and the youth that we have involved in our organization, we put a lot of work into the field. And you know, one of the main things that we say is that never walk on the beds. The beds are a sacred ground because that's where we grow our food at, that we provide to the community. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on underneath the surface, little microorganisms, things that take place that you can, really can't see with the naked eye. So we like to um, let our youth know that the beds are sacred ground. And when I seen that the beds were actually ran over with a vehicle, that it hurt, pretty disappointed, but um, you know, it, it's just a terrible thing that happened. How much work did it undo? How much, how much was damaged at the, at the property? Well, the kind of the tire tracks and the wood chips aren't really a problem. It's just mulch wood chips that we keep to cover the ground to uh, suppress the weeds. But driving over the beds, I'd say it was about 30 feet of cover crop that was ran over that the, like the bottom undercarriage of the vehicle just kind of completely wiped out. And of course the tire tracks in the second bed, um, again, you know, it's just, we, we take care of our beds. We really respect our space like that. And so it, it was, not too significant. Of course, we, we were able to um, repair all the damage. We'll still have to see how the cover crop recovers. But um, yeah, it was just more disheartening that somebody would actually drive through our field like that. And um, being that it was for, you mean, some momentary excitement, a few moments of fun, you know, I mean, left us with, you mean, feeling disrespected in the end. Did you file a police report? No, um, I was asked to file a police report, but you know, it's not my intentions to really get anyone in trouble or have them prosecuted. Um, you know, I think that just an education of, you know, I mean, kind of respecting people's property and hopefully um, something like this doesn't happen again. But um, we really want to make sure that these youth kind of understand just, you know, if you wouldn't want it done to your stuff, just don't do it to somebody else's. If you could uh, come face to face with any of the participants in the sideshow or, or the people uh, just gathering to watch it, uh, what would you like to say to them? Oh man, I would just like to let them know to, to be safe. You know, it, it's pretty dangerous. You know, you see a lot of accidents that happen with, you know, I mean, cars going at high rates of speed, you know, I mean, uncontrollable. Um, but really just talking to them like about what happened to us personally that, you know, we put a lot of work into our field. We take a lot of pride in what we do. And the fact that we're growing food locally to support our food insecure homes, um, it's very likely that we provide vegetables to their household or to someone that they know. So um, just know that, you know, we're gonna continue doing what we do. We wanna educate folks about good nutrition, about growing food in the soil, regenerative, sustainable means. So just that, you know, um, again, you know, if you don't want someone to do uh, something like that to you, then don't do it to somebody else. You mean show respect for, for other folks' property. Is there a, a, a monetary um, amount that you think was, uh, was destroyed in, in what happened? Um, you know what? It, it's more our time than anything else, you know? 
that we put in because the seed is not very expensive, but allowing that cover crop to maintain the soil, to build up the soil organic matter and um, maintain the soil throughout the fall and the winter, you know, it's hard to place a number on something like that. I mean, our cover crop was growing really strong. Fortunately, we didn't have nothing growing in the second bed that was ran over. Um, monetarily, um, aside from our time, it might not be very expensive, but just the fact that, I mean, we use these crops to, um, or these beds to grow crops for our community. You know, there's no price that we can put on that and the work that we do to support our youth in our community. So it's just like the fact that, you know, I mean, we feel um, that our work is not appreciated by some folks, but we hope that, you know, I mean, a story can get out there to let folks know the work that we're doing and maybe they'll see and they'll feel sorry, you know, as far as the damage goes, like I said, we were able to repair it um, fairly quickly. We'll just have to wait and see how the cover crop recovers. Yeah, so you wouldn't have an idea on uh, if this is going to impact your ability, at least in the near future, to be able to um, provide that food to uh, food unsecure homes? Well, I like to think that we're pretty good at what we do, you know, so we'll recover and we'll be able to repair the field. You know, it's just like the relationship with these folks that we want to try to um, kind of nurture and the awareness that we want to put out there for folks to understand what we're doing in and for the community by folks that are born and raised in Broderick. Uh, I saw the video that you posted on on social media. Are there any other, um, do you have any other surveillance or anything on the on the property that, that caught what happened that night? Yeah, unfortunately, um, we weren't able to get any of the footage um, that took place at all, so. Uh, could we have permission to use that, uh, your, your social media video online? Yeah, please, you know, just kind of putting the word out there as far as we can to uh, let folks know, you know I mean, that definitely not appreciate it and um, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Okay, uh, is there anything else you wanna add? Uh, yeah, just, you mean, um, we're a local nonprofit, Native Indigenous led. You know, I mean, Three Sisters Gardens growing food for our community. Uh, we hope to get the support of um, maybe even some of these young folks that were out there acting irresponsibly and spreading the word so that we can continue to thrive and grow, supporting uh, the app potential youth in our community. How long have you uh, operated the garden? Oh, uh, that particular garden, we're uh, finishing up our first year. And so you have other gardens uh, around West Sacramento or any in, in Sacramento? Uh, we're beginning a project out in Sacramento, um, taking over the old Sacramento City tree nursery property. Um, for our part, we're going to be activating one acre. But locally, right in West Sacramento, Broderick, we also have um, three other sites that we've been working for uh, going on three years, our fourth and C Street site. And um, we have a, another site over on Cummings and Douglas. And the last one is over on uh, Regatta Lane near the, uh, the rivers. 